everyone. My name is Logan Mansion of Logan Mansion Games, and I'm pleased to welcome you all back to. I'm pleased to welcome you all to a game called Poppy Playtime. Now, yes, uh, I'm gonna go on to uh, go on to my settings. Yep, subtitles on. Play. Chapter one: A tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally return to the factory many years later after everyone within disappeared. I never noticed that uh, the fur uh, right here on Huggy Wuggy is uh, moving. Okay, new game. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Vintage poppy commercial. Huh. The grammar doesn't look very good on that. Okay. So, yeah. did If you all saw that letter right there, it said, like, everyone... Which was next to a VHS tape of that commercial... Um, it said, um, everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. So, yeah, I still got to find the flower. But one thing you realize about that, um, that tape right there is that the, um, grammar on it isn't the greatest. Lathe Pier Closing. Here's my item list. Okay. I'm going to go over here, put this tape in the VHS player. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware... While we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I was just sent a letter to come here. Look, leaves. Hey, what time of day is it? Neat little chair. Interact. Is to press E. Look, their little... little cat right there. Pop 
Happy wants to play. But why? And what does she want to play? Welcome! Be at least, you know, you're nice enough to welcome me. Eat healthy like brawn. Playtime Co. Cafeteria recommends a daily intake of 4,000 4, calories. Okay, I can see why calories can be healthy. There's a train. Oh, this must be the, sh the gift shop area in the factory. Boogie bot. Is there still some money in there? No. Oh, there's a old boogie bot. It looks destroyed and covered in black stuff. Candy cat. And there's a huggy doll. Perfect for all ages. But nothing's in those boxes. What? Green, pink, yellow, red. There's a computer. I like can't activate that area yet. Oh, what were those colors? Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. There we go. Yeah, just look at the train for like the passcode for that. Employees only. Well, I'm an ex-employee, so does that count? Grab pack training. Playtime Co. Grab pack. Tighten the straps. Hold both cannons. Pull the trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Only fire at small objects slash handles. Don't fire at co-workers. This may cause an injury. What? Taking their head off? Ooh, there was blood, too. Wire is... Yeah. Wire is used... Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Use your grab pack responsibly. What's the time? Playtime! Probably where... You know, this is where the security guards go, are at. This is the security guard's office. And there's the grab pack. So far, I only have one hand left, but it looks like I will need this one. That's kind of disturbing, but a catchy song. 
Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy such which could hug you forever, as is always true. Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy. Yeah, I can see that because he's everywhere. Huggy Wuggy from 1984 to... And look, there's some blocks that build out his name. some Huggy Wuggy toys in there. Cafeteria. How did you get the key? Never mind, give it here. Thanks. Turn the power on in this place. It looks like there's a little bit of light. Remember, do. Be kind to others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pure. <laughs> Stay pat... Don't stay past 8 p.m. Muse, misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation wing without authorization. And there's a kissy missy right there. Turn the power on there. There you go, the power's on. It's down there. Oh, Huggy's gone, this ain't good. Well, there's no way out right there, so I gotta press on. Make a friend. Okay, sure. I, I love you. Huggy? kind of creep, freak me out a bit, the steam comes from that pipe. Apparently I didn't pick up any of these.
VHS player. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. Wow, what an asshole. But yeah, good advice, Huggy. Oh, there it is. It's a tape right there. I didn't see it. Security camera. Run. What? I can't tell what it says. I'll just play the tape. the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly! Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. But, uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it. Because we can't buy stupid hockey boxes! Rich. Oh, you're right. You're right. It's... It's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is... Is that even a word? Habitable. Orphans? Are they sending toys to an orphanage? to find the green one.
There it is. There we go. And there it is, the red the red hand. to Logan. Do not enter? Well, I think I have to. Well, rats. on needs power make a friend <laughs> Make a friend. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, yeah, yeah, a visionary, he set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats, yet of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and achieved, and achieved. It's solely, it's, it is solely responsible for Nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed proper parts and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labor. This machine can do it do all of that and more. And more. Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. Playtime Co. Foster and Adoptive Care Initiative strives to create permanency in the lives of orphan children by 
recruiting adoptive and foster parents within our organization. We encourage all Playtime Co. employees to take part in our mission by fostering or adopting an orphan child. Participating employees may be eligible for additional benefits. This initiative helps children not only in the Midwest region, but also orphans around the world. Every child deserves a chance at a new life. Yeah, I guess so. Nobody leaves without a toy. Oh, it's literal, isn't it? This machine needs power. It's a pink VHS player, so I think it needs a pink VHS tape. Whoa, I love the designs of those. There we go, that's how you get the catwalk. Okay, seem to be functioning fine. Didn't fall from that height. I thought I could walk on that little bar thing. It's a tape, so I could put it in this pink VHS player. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. I mean, this person's not wrong. about how adults and kids are kind of similar in some ways.
There we go, the machine's on. It's gonna turn on here in a second. Power on. Oh, they have eyes. I don't know why they're... Why do they look like the rubber dubbers? Does anybody remember that show? You know, here come the rubber dubbers. Splish, splash, splish. Oh, here come the rubber dubbers. Seriously, this guy right here, this one right here in the middle, those eyes are cracking. back there. Here it comes. So it's kind of like a Build-A-Bear workshop. See, that big machine is looking at me. Make a friend. And look, it's beautiful.
your nose is clipping through that right there. So yeah, I gotta put the toy right here. Scanning. Toy except nice. Wait, oh no, I don't get to keep it? Let's get out of here. Huggy God. Okay, run. You little bastard. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. It scared me. Don't let them inside. Get up. Are you talking to me? Shouldn't have looked back. What does that say? Get up. So I gotta keep running away from Huggy. Mission is key. Thank you, science. <laughs> I didn't mean to die right there, I just ended up getting stuck. You gotta keep running! Don't look back at him! That was fucking scary. Look at that. It left like blood or something. I, oh yeah, my arm's stuck. Look at that. When Huggy Wuggy hit those pipes, it left like some blood or... Yeah, it looks like blood. The flower. What happened to him?
Hey, a VHS tape. Cool. And there's a TV and a player so I can watch it. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... Who is this prototype? Anyway, to the flower. There's just some toys hanging right here. Poor Braun hanging by the neck there. No, stop, stop, go back, run, turn around. No, stop. Whoa, what's this area? Music. Some white paint or something on that wall. Dollhouse. Looks like there's nothing inside, and I could barely see it. Pillows. That appears to be like a bookshelf of sorts. Red in there. Kind of bed. It's a poppy doll. Oh, wallpaper's coming off. You opened my case. I sure did. Thank you for playing. Chapter 1 of Tight Squeeze. Okay, and that there was uh, Chapter 1 of uh, Puppy Playtime by uh, Mob Games. Or Mob Entertainment. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. I will admit that chase with Huggy Wuggy was actually pretty scary, like running from him. Stella, that w that's what her name was. The one person on the pink tape who was getting interviewed. Saying, like, you know, I want to be a kid again or something. I'm thinking about maybe playing the other two chapters. I'm really curious to how chapter four is going to go. I heard chapter three was good. Thank you for playing. Well, you're welcome. Okay, well, I'm just going to end the video right here, but if you liked it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, but as always, thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye, everyone.